The plasma membrane of Saccharomyces cerevisiae contains G protein coupled receptor for mating factor like A factor and alpha factor. When the mating factor is not in a bounded state to G protein coupled receptor, the unphosphorylated inactive DIG1 and DIG2 inhibits T12. This A factor and alpha factor are a type of peptide pheromone. The mating factor first binds to the receptor. This binding causes exchange of GTP for GDP on the G alpha subunit. Due to this exchange, GTP G alpha complex dissociates from G beta gamma complex. The freed G beta gamma complex then binds to the cytosolic scaffold protein T5 and its bound kinases like T11, T7 and Phos3. T stands for sterile. The cytosolic T20 then binds to a GTPase called as CDC42 and get phosphorylated. The phosphorylated T20 then phosphorylates and activates T11. The phosphorylated and activated T11 then phosphorylates and activates T7. The phosphorylated and activated T7 then phosphorylates and activates Phos3. The phosphorylated and activated Phos3 then translocates into the nucleus. In the nucleus, the phosphorylated and activated Phos3 then phosphorylates and activates proteins like DIG1 and DIG2. These phosphorylations withdraw the inhibition of transcription factor T12 by unphosphorylated and inactive DIG1 and DIG2. This T12 then binds to the DNA. This binding initiates the transcription of mating type genes. This T12 is a type of serine threonine kinase. This T11 is also a type of serine threonine kinase. Mammals contain RAF and MEKK. These RAF and MEKK are analogous to T11. T7 is a type of threonine tyrosine dual specificity kinase. T7 is related to MEK in other eukaryotes. Phos3 is a type of serine threonine kinase. The higher eukaryotes contains MAPK. This MAPK and Phos3 are equivalent to each other according to their function. Please like, subscribe and share.